Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! You did. Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and we are here to bring you a new hike this week. We're at Morton Arboretum in Lyle, Illinois, and we're here to do a five mile hike today. This is our second hike of the day, and we're just getting started. In fact, to get started, you go from the parking lot past the visitor center. We went in the visitor center and what did we do? We bought memberships. So Dad and I are officially members of the Morton Arboretum. And that also grants us access to the Chicago Botanic Gardens, which we will bring you videos of in a couple months, two months. So, hey, let's pop to the right. So we are, where'd you go? Opening the there camera because we are passing their new arts sculptures. So they used to have these trolls, like eight trolls uh, that were huge, large, and that was their kind of one of their artistic pieces of this arboretum. But now they took the trolls down and they're starting a new art project. And this is the first sculpture that's being installed here. Uh, pretty cool, it's big. And so we're walking through the Korean section of plants. And we've got frog activity. Lots of frog activity. So we'll be quiet and hopefully we're able to pick up this frog noises, these frog noises. Look, there's gonna be a lot of wind here. This is Burr Reed Marsh. So we are at the Oaks section of the Morton Arboretum and it's right off of the main trail or continuing along the main trail uh, right next to parking lot 8. But yeah, check this crazy tree out that's fallen and you can see how all the roots sort of work uh, and how they go over each other and under each other and create this crazy system of roots, roots of pathways for the tree to get water and, and nutrients from the ground. So this is a side path, it's a circle around with a lot of information here, mostly dedicated to oaks. Hey, hey. We're on loop four and we're about to reach kind of the far end and then take a left toward the big rock. Lots of controlled burns. Yeah, yeah, like the whole time. Yeah. But uh, again, I just wanted to say I'm feeling very calm. 
I don't know the temperature or just the peacefulness and the birds in the background or the frogs. Yeah, I definitely feel connected to nature. Uh, I had a moment about a half a mile back or whatever it was uh, where just my awareness totally shifted and changed and pressure in my face and my eyes alleviated and through the being surrounded of, by nature and the hearing of frogs croaking uh, kind of triggered, triggered that change in awareness and I became a lot calmer and a lot more present and so that was it was really cool to be able to identify that because right away I was like hey dad like this just happened to me and it hasn't left Still hear some frogs in the distance. Yes, and isn't it the year for cicadas? Those yeah, are gonna start. We're gonna have to deal with that. The cicadas are gonna start coming, crawling their way out. Yeah, boy, I should plan my travel around the cicadas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good idea. Yeah, I don't know if, if I can get uh, travel permits. Well, you see, I need to be not here. Well, this must have been something. You know, if you had stables and you just got out and rode your horse around some big plot of land this big. That would be sweet. Mr. Morton. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, look at all those dudes. Oh, wow. Ten? Yeah. Ten, twelve. It's so weird because those deer look a lot healthier than the deer in Winnetka. They're just, their colors seem deeper and I don't know. That's an interesting observation. No way to really tease that out to see if it's true or not. But certainly these deer have much more unimpacted land. A lot of them, they're looking at us. Oh, they're there. <laughs> Whoa, where is this guy going to go? Oh, man! What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, oh my! Let's let this last guy through. <laughs> Holy cow. Never seen that before. Neither have I. That was a herd of deer. Love watching them jump. Yeah, they were energized. That was so cool, you got that on camera. Yeah. All right, what we're looking at is the juxtaposition between a controlled burn and an uncontrolled burn. We're really, I mean, there's a ton of controlled burns that we've seen, and, and we're guessing they're controlled burns. Um, but here is one way to tell. So we are on a path, and on... The right side are all the leaves from last fall and on the left side are not only no leaves but the green is starting to to grow and there's no burned logs on the right side there's fallen logs but on the left side here over here now the right side yeah. definitely burned burned everywhere burn everywhere Hey yo, we're taking a quick 
lunch break next to the big rock. Down that away. Look over there. It's a big rock. The Ooh. rock is somebody left their wallet in my backpack. Oh, it's my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so the rock is about the size of an elephant. Don't be mean to the rock. This one's bent a little. I gave you the better sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rock is the size of an elephant and weighs the size, uh, weighs the size, <laughs> weighs the amount of a school bus, which is like, this rock next to us weighs like 10 to 12 tons. Tons? Yeah. Tons. Yeah. yeah. It's a big rock. But more importantly, sandwiches. This week... We've got sunflower butter and gooseberry jelly. What's that you say? Gooseberry jelly. What is a gooseberry? Because I don't know. A gooseberry you know, I made the sandwich. are the berries that I bought that one time. That yeah, one time. <laughs> they're yellow. They're the yellow ones. And I made you try one. Gooseberries are like yellow berries. They're strange. And we've got gooseberry jam. I don't know what else to say. On the fresh homemade bread that my dad makes. Gooseberry bread. Gooseberry bread. <laughs> so. All right. What did we have earlier today? We had, we finished off the pumpkin apricot confit. We did. So I'll have to get more of that. Absolutely. Gooseberry. Good sandwich. You can really taste the gooseberry. <laughs> <laughs> Where did gooseberries come from? Oh, I have no idea. From geese, geese. obviously. <laughs> yeah. From the golf course. Yo, the day is winding down. It sure is. We are. On loop two, we're almost at loop one. And uh, the sun is, well, behind clouds, but it's certainly getting darker. Yeah. There's a smell of rain in the air, which is the reason I turned on the camera because that smell is really kind of uh, connecting me. Oh, good. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the park's emptying out. We are for sure expecting rain. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's at like five o'clock. Really? Because we are it's almost five. Four forty-five. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You had that knowledge. I had. I did not have that. I'm just smelling in the air. I had a feeling. Spend enough time in nature, and that's what happens to you. Yeah. To Tonga. Rising buffalo, they say. <laughs> Rising buffalo. Well, throwback to... Mesa Verde. Mesa Verde. Oh, that was a good time. Sure was. Saw some videos of surfing the sand dunes the other day. You got videos? Yeah. We gotta post them. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you got some videos? <laughs> yeah, we can totally do that. Just get that inventory out Keep there. an eye out for our 2019 excursion to Colorado when we went sand surfing at the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Yeah, that was pretty excellent. And then rafting, yeah. Those are all normal videos, but in short, but I could string some together. I think you should. All right. Okay. All right. Done deal. You heard it here Say first. Less. <laughs> yep. All right. See you at the parking lot. Okay. Once again, we are finishing up our hike here. So we just put up about seven and a half. Oh, I got 7.97, so eight. 
Well, I have 8.29, but it's minus half a mile from the beginning, right? Because we just went in the gift shop. Yeah. Seven and a half. Either way, yeah, seven and a half miles. It's gonna celebrate. Around the east section of Morton Arboretum. And yeah, this was a really, really cool hike. You know, we're here in March, so not everything is in bloom, uh, but still just the way that the trails uh, go, the type of terrain that we're walking over, uh, you feel it, you notice it, and it's still, you feel very much involved and connected in nature. So I had a really good time. I know my dad had a really good time. Uh, we're definitely gonna come back here in winter to do a snowshoeing, and we're gonna come back here in like April to see the trees blooming and you know what what this place really has to offer uh, when it when everything's flourishing uh, anything else yeah I wanted to bring up that we this year since we're kind of committed and dedicated we're supporting some of the organizations that we keep seeing that are supporting the land around us so we became a member of the uh, Arboretum here today the Arboretum which is also connected to Botanic Gardens uh, so yeah, we, definitely those. We bought the Illinois Conservancy. We donated over there. This is my Illinois pin that I just got this week. And we have uh, two, three sets of pins that we purchased from the Illinois Conservancy. Uh, Illinois Conservation Foundation. That's the one. Yeah, so definitely uh, check out my Instagram. Check out the Hike360 Instagram. Uh, we link a lot of our posts uh, we link the Illinois Conservation Foundation on them, uh, and yeah, like you said, we just we want to be a part of preserving this land that we do have in Illinois and being a part of the naturalistic side of, of life. <laughs> There's All a right. car coming. We'll catch